every four years there is an event called the Olympics. You might have heard of it. <laughs> the 2024 Olympics in Paris are heavily discussed. Uh, why? Because there's so many controversies around it and today we're gonna look at every single one of these. When you think of Paris, what do you think of? The Eiffel Tower? The gang violence in the outskirts? Or the River Seine. And speaking of the River Seine, wait, what a transition. Yeah, th this river is, let's say, a bit polluted. But, unfortunately, they need a place where the triathletes swim. What other way to do it than to clean up the Seine to a point where people can swim in it? So they put 1.53 billion dollars, aka 1.37 euro, billion euros. They were put into this project to clean up the Seine. Did it work? Not really. Brother, you put 1.5 billion in there. Why, why the fuck is it not clean? What, what, what did you even need their money for? I can't imagine anything being this expensive that cleans the sun. There was an outrage because the bacteria levels were still very high. I know there were people before that said, yo, let's all shit in the sun. Wait, my brother, what's going on? As if it wasn't polluted enough, brother, they wanted to take a shit in the sand. I don't even know if they didn't, but judging by the bacteria levels, some people did. So they needed to postpone the men's triathlon shortly after the women's triathlon. Not only the sand was polluted, you know what else was polluted? The chosen athletes for certain countries, especially the Netherlands. If you haven't heard, you're probably wondering, wait, what did the Netherlands do? Well, let me tell you. They put a convicted child into their roster. Yes. You heard correctly. This motherfucker was in prison, yeah? Because he molested a child. And he's still competing in the Olympics. Netherlands. What is wrong with you? I don't know where he was originally in prison, but he was shipped to the Netherlands to stay there. And then they short the sentence so he can compete at the Olympics, which is... Brother, what are you doing? His name is Steven van der Velde. Yeah, I just wanted to know his name, so if you see his name, don't support him, yeah? He got booed by the audience when he went and played beach volleyball. And his teammates said he's disappointed in the audience, in the crowd. A am, I am I missing the details here? Or is he just missing a key part of his brain? If you can't go out with the child in your team and say you're surprised, people don't like this. Like he's their surprise Pikachu face. How could this have happened? Never could have guessed. Let's shift back a little bit and let's go to the start of the Olympics. Because the opening ceremony also had a couple controversies. First, the idea to go by boats wasn't really the best, to be honest. They themselves even realized that after, after the ceremony had happened, that by boat was not a good idea. Especially since they just poured 1.5 billion dollars into cleaning the sand up. Now you're driving a boat down there? Hey, that's kind of counterproductive if you ask me. Hey, that's, that's pretty fishy. See what I did there? Because it's really fishy, you know? Yes, you also can boo me, it's fine. The ceremony, like, on the boats, it was, it was a bit lame, I can't lie. <laughs> that was just the calm before the storm. Why? Because they announced all the countries, of course. Because these countries came out with their best athletes, holding the flag, supporting their country. It would be a shame if a country would be mistaken for another country. And it would also be a shame if that country was not on good terms with the other one. Yeah, they mistook South Korea for North Korea and called it North Korea. That's pretty bad. Anyway, they said, I think it was Democratic Republic of the something Korea, and that's the original name for North Korea. Yeah, something else happened at the opening ceremony, and it's, I'm kind of on the side of the Olympic Committee with this. They, they, they got a lot of backlash for putting in drag queens in the style of the painting of The Last Supper, but First of all, if this was really the case, I wouldn't be bothered. They also said that this is not based on the Last Supper, it is based on, you know, the Greek god Dionysus, the god of wine, sitting down with his, you know, joining, his, joining the ceremony. And you know what? Seeing that image, it does make sense. It looks very much the same. I'm gonna give the Olympic Committee the benefit of the doubt. I really think they're telling the truth. I don't think they based this off the of the painting, but that that was a controversy, so I couldn't leave that out. I just didn't really care about it, to be honest. But hey, if you did, let me know in the comments. I don't know why, but just let me know, I guess. But now the opening was done, and it was time for the Olympics. The athletes went for a night of sleep before the Olympics really started, and they slept in cardboard beds. Not too bad, I mean, it's the Olympics. There were sex-proof beds, apparently, so you could fuck all you want, and 
You're still good in this bed, apparently. I didn't test it, I'm not there. Don't don't chat to me, yeah? They also brought 300,000 condoms for 5,000 male athletes. Like, brother, what kind of action are they getting? 300,000 condoms for 5,000 male athletes. That's a bit much, isn't it? What's also bad was the food rations. There were complaints, especially from the British side, that there was raw meat served. I mean, the British can't really complain because it's still better than their food. I think British people are good with raw meat. Uh, that sounds mad, you know what I mean. I think they should be grateful that they get raw meat instead of their home cooking. What's that? If the South Africans said that, I fine, we good. But uh, you British people, you can't really complain, to be honest. Anyway, something that was really heavily discussed also was the French banned the hijab. Banned the hijab before the opening ceremony and a, and an athlete of them was not allowed to be on the opening ceremony because she wears a hijab. Now, you th you're probably thinking, why? As you should, because why? Anyway, she wore a cap that covered her and so she could eventually go, but kinda don't get it. It's just a clothing item, isn't it? It's, it's not really that deep. Okay, but now that we're through the opening ceremony and the Olympic Village, let the games begin because now we can finally enjoy the games. Oh, and what's that? I just heard some, a coach got fired? But why? Why did she get fired? The, the women's Canada football coach, she was fired because because she spied on the Netherlands team with a drone. What, what kind of behavior is this? If you're not prepared, might as well not go to the Olympics. You're so scared of New Zealand's football team. New Zealand ain't a scary nation, they won zero trophies ever. Jesus Christ, you were this unprepared? Damn, I, what are you doing at the Olympics? Some other weird things happened. There was a judging decision that was so weird and it was the gymnastics scoring shocker of the women. I don't even know what kind of gymnastics it was to be honest. I need to read the names. I, I can't memorize them. I'm sorry, okay? Jordan Childs, Chiles, got bumped up a tenth of a point after the thing was done. They said VAR, tenth of a point up and that got her to third place. That's really sad because the woman who won bronze was already celebrating and then they VAR after the competition and said, nah, sorry, we need to knock her up a tenth of a point and now she's ahead of you? Nah, that's poor taste if you ask me. Yeah, but it, this is not as bad as what happened to the runner. Wait. Faith Kipion. Kipion. Kip... Keep Yegan? Faith Keep Yegan? Oh, I, I surely bottled that, right? I'm so... I'm really sorry if I bottled that crazy, but... Faith Keep Yegan was disqualified in a race because she pushed the person next to her and the other person fell and then she was re-qualified the next day. Imagine you go out by disqualification, you're like, no. Then they tell you, yeah, but good news, you're in and you're like, well, I don't know how to feel about this now. <laughs> she was disqualified and re-qualified because it wasn't enough to count as, you know, a disqualification. I haven't seen the clip. I don't know if it was justified or not. Let me know in the comments. But this wasn't the only person who was disqualified. An Indian wrestler got, got disqualified because she missed weight. Now you're thinking, okay, yeah, that's common. Th that's common in combat sports. That happens. But she missed weight by 100 grams. And to all of you who are who say that that's a really big deal, it's, it's not. It's really not. 100 grams is not a big deal in combat sports. It is a big deal if you miss weight and a couple kilos can make a big difference, but I don't wanna... 100 grams, I guarantee you, these 100 grams would not have been a problem at any point. She already cut her hair off and then she was still disqualified because of 100 grams? I can't lie, that's a bit of an overreaction. Every person who does combat sports will agree with me that 100 grams is not the key factor here. Not only were the athletes disqualified, also commentators were, let's say, disqualified because of remarks that they gave and some commentators got fired or got, you know, disqualified from the Olympics, let's say it like that. One commentator said, well, the women are just finishing up, you know what women are like, hanging around doing their makeup. Right then, hanging around doing their makeup while you're commentating on them. On, on them. doing. I think it was swimming, Olympic swimming. Yeah, that was, that was pretty sexist remark, so he was, I think he was disqualified from the Olympics. And there was another commentator who said, on the left there's Sarah Irani, who's the boss. She does everything. The washing up, the cooking, the mopping up. I don't really want to give him the benefit of the doubt that he just meant it endearingly. If so, these metaphors are... Yeah, why are you choosing these ones? Don't talk yourself out of this. This is your problem now. Yeah, but now I think that's pretty much it. We've got so many cool moments. We got the star of the Olympics, Snoop Dogg. He always sits in gear. 
in in the crowd and supports. Also, we got the Turkish shooter who just stood there like that without any gear. Snoop Dogg was more geared up than him, and he was he he won a silver medal. Anyway, I think these I think these Olympics were great. We got broken world records. We got good vibes. Of course, there will there is some bad stuff happening, and maybe the controversies were more this this time than the last olympics but i still don't think this these are bad olympics let me know in the comments if you think these olympics are good bad or where you would put them if you say these are the worst olympics of all time these are not let's be honest people see you soon